And Justin Michaels is out on the sands in Panama City Beach testing the theory that even a bad day at the beach is still better than a great day in the office. Uh, Justin, we don't want to downplay this too much, but it is beautiful behind right. you. Not a bad assignment, but certainly the reasons we had to come here are not that great. And I will tell you, uh, the last couple weeks for first responders here in Panama City Beach have been very difficult because from June 15th to June 24th, seven people in rip current incidents died in these waters. And that is not because lifeguards weren't fighting to save them, but seven people did die just on June 24th. Three of those people died. So now we're joined by Ray Morgan. He's the fire chief here in Fort, My in Fort Myers Beach, in Panama City, City Beach. Beach. Thank you. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on this coast, chief. We're we're Beach. Thank you so much. We're yeah. grateful to spend a few moments with you. And I do want to kind of talk about the elephant in the room because sure that that number of seven people dying in these waters these beautiful turquoise waters sugar white sands is a hard number to get your mind around especially for the folks who your number one job is to protect people yeah it's you know any loss of life right. it, it is is unacceptable and that was one of the worst weeks we've had here on the beach and uh, you know our guards take it personally they love this community. They love this beach. They love our guests. Right. And, and it was a tough pill to swallow last week. Yep. yep. Those seven people did die in those two weeks. How many did they rescue? So they actually pulled in 143 more people than that that were in peril. So without our guards, the numbers would have been tragic. Could have been 150 people. Could I mean, have been all easily those people. Right. People. I mean, yeah. so so yeah. your 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 crews have been out there working hard. I know in Destin we were talking with uh, the beach patrol there, and they literally go person to person, group to group. Do a little education, a little outreach directly with the folks on the beach. Do right. your do your crews do that too, like uh, Yeah, one hundred percent. So we have fixed tower positions at the pier, and then we have rovers that go up and down the beach all day long, visit, meet our customers, meet our guests, right. explain the surf, explain the flag system, what's happening, right. and just really try to educate. Educate is the first line of defense, right. and, and that's what we're focused on. Well, and chief, so. as far as education goes, it starts with these signs so people know what's going on. It so does. Today's yes. a yellow flag day, and people make mm -hmm. think to themselves, oh, it's just a yellow. It's just a yellow just flag. A yellow. Right. But people died on yellow flag days people, in the last two weeks. Yes. People have died in Okaloosa, right. as we know, on right. a yellow flag day. There's never a time that you don't want to throw caution to the wind. Right. You know, the, nature is beauty. And, and that office will be very dangerous, as right. we've seen. Right. Yeah. So, so, And as far as the, the double red, that means it's illegal to go in the water. That's correct. So the water is closed to the public. So, you know, obviously we want you to come here. We want you to have a good time, but we want you to return home. We don't want you to go home with an empty seat in your car, leaving behind someone because they perished out of your family is horrible. I've seen it over and over. I've worked it on the sand. When we put up double red flag, it means it's dangerous. Right. That water is dangerous. That water can kill you. That's why we put that up there. We're very serious about that. Chief Ray Morgan, we're grateful for you and your time here. Thank Panama you for City taking Beach care. Fire Chief. Yes, thank you it. very much. And as we go to commercial break, we do give you this stunning turquoise waters of the Gulf of Mexico. But remember, folks, as beautiful as they are, they can be deadly. We're back after this.